sometimes we choose to play builds purely to maximize visual impact. And this is 100% the case with my Vol Flame Blast build. I'm using, or to some, abusing the Triumvirate Authority ring to get infinite Vol Flame Blasts. If you don't already know why this ring is so broken, I've attached a link to my prior video explaining how I'm leveraging it, and another by Tuna going into his usage of it. Beyond soul cost though, which this ring solves for me, there's two additional challenges to getting this build fully online, generating souls and reducing soul gain prevention duration. The first, generation, is actually really easy to solve. I use Soul Ripper, the Pathfinder Ascendancy, and the Traitor Keystone from the Brutal Restraint Jewel to naturally generate a ton of flash charges. The second one, however, is a bit more specific. While in League, it's virtually impossible to get the soul gain prevention duration of Vol Flame Blast down to zero, which has no built-in duration tag and can't be modified via Helmet Enchant like Stormcall or Threshold Jewel like Spark, it is possible to get it functionally low enough to not impact generation. So what I mean is this, because I have nearly no cast speed, the initial tick of my flame blast doesn't actually hit enemies until roughly half a second into the cast. So by stacking a ton of flask effect and now using the soul catcher flask, I'm able to take my soul gain prevention duration time down to 0.45 seconds, which is exactly enough so that the first damage tick of my vol flame blast will immediately contribute to soul generation. So I go into my passive tree first and it's really really spread out. Um, aggregate Acrobatics and Phase Acro and Wind Dancer right away, and these are my three main defensive nodes that I'm getting because you stack this with Soul Catcher and Soul River for a ton of dodge and spell dodge. Um, this was the Brutal Restraint Trader Keystone that I was talking about, but then otherwise, the most important thing is that I'm actually prioritizing Flask Effect on my tree. So that's here, 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 and then all the way up here. Um, beyond this though, I have a Cluster Jewel out here, which is getting me Spell Leech again, as you've probably seen before. Some ES Leech, although I don't need this anymore and then some resistances. This is also super important. Spike Concoction gives you a ton of flask effect, and if you don't run this, you actually won't have enough flask effect to get the flame blast duration down to give you generation before the first tick. And then my last medium cluster is Evil Eye and Master of Fear, and this is pretty much just for damage, and then I'm using a ton of rare three prop jewels to spike my damage even further. My gear, though, is a bit more specific, right? So we have that Bloodstained Fossil Crafted Staff that I was mentioning, and then I'm using a Carcass Jack just because I want to jack up the AoE as much as possible. The Helmet is, again, another just damage option, and this is probably flexible, as are my Amulet, Boots, and Gloves. So a ton of flex slots all around. My last ring just has Curse on Hit. Um, done a ton of Chaos Res as well, which I find really helpful, especially for surviving the Miasma during Ultimatums. However, the two that are non-negotiable is the belt. So I've taken off Headhunter now, I'm using a micro distillery belt because I need flask charges that badly. If you don't hit the thresholds you need, there's also a higher level flask effect craft that you can get, but this one requires an exalted orb. And then I have a Tremford Authority Ring, which I can actually snapshot with another one, which I'm using Gifts of Above. But then you saw that Ziri clip that I did, um, and in that one I was using a Sybil's Lament, and that gives me full reflect immunity. And then the one thing is that the trader says this, right? Gain 4 flash charges per empty flash slot every 5 seconds. And then you combine this with Micro Distillery Belt, which says you can't use this flask in your 5th slot. So these two are kind of complementary to each other. So that only gives me 4 flasks to use. These two are for soul generation, as I've mentioned. And then Bottled Faith gives me so much value because I'm a Pathfinder with so much flask effect, right? And then my final one is a Quicksilver with Curse. And this is okay because I have Elemental Ailment Immunity from here. And then I have Bleed Immunity from here, which is really, really great. Um, the skill gems are pretty chill, I'd say. Um, I have a six link flame blast with Trinity, Awaken Ellie Focus, um, Awaken Added Lightning, which enables in Trinity, Awakened AoE, and this is just again for AoE, and then Elemental Penetration because I'm using two types of damage. And then in my chest, I'm using a Wave Conviction setup with Combustion, Arcanist Brand, Life Tap because I cannot gain any mana, and Culling Strike, so then a Utility 5 link here. And then on my bottom here, I'm using Herald of Ash with Zealotry. And I'm not sure I need this in Lightning at all, but I figure I would just level it. And then finally, in my boots, I'm running Immortal Call with Cast and Damage Taken. And then an Anomalous Flame Dash with Life Tap. Again, because I have no mana to use whatsoever. And I think if I was to add things to my gem slots, I'd probably throw in something like a Power Charge on Crit over here. And then I'd throw in another aura like Precision over here. And that'd probably sum up all of the gems that I'm using. Talent. You finally caught my attention. Where is he? Die. What the? Dude, it's too hard because he doesn't stand still for long enough. Die. 
he, he phased, right? Are you serious right now? He doesn't stand still. This is a real challenge. It's, I'm playing a Vol Skills build inside Sears. That seems like illegal, right? Isn't that like literally illegal? Oh god, I don't like that. Oh yeah, it's Kate Cloudy. I feel like I shouldn't cast them all at once because he keeps running away. Oh, he's gone. I don't know. I need to turn it on though to hear the die beams during last phase. Oh god. Oh, at least I can tank it. Oh my god. I have no healing. Sag, 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 Sag. You know if you stand inside the dive, he can't hit you? I learned that from Don the Crown stream, man. He's a fucking beast. Alright, so, it's Sirius Fireball. Wall Flame Blast Sirius. What's the guy? What's the guy in the chair? He's got a name, right? Shit, I forgot to flask. John. I don't think he's called John, dude. Wasted my juice again. Wasted it again. Oh, God. <laughs> 